Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading for June 1st, 2023. June is bringing a lot of good stuff. It's going to, you know, there's going to be all kind of, it's, we're in a duality consciousness. It's going to be good and bad. But there's going to be a lot of freedom for us in our thinking. Okay, so whatever you want to do to be open to that, to help facilitate those discoveries so that you can be in a space of allowing, being in a space of accepting the good things that are coming in instead of, you know, pushing them away or what have you. If that is an astrology reading, a tarot reading, good on you. If you want to work with me, that information is always in the description box to get angelic help around that. If you just want to, you know, use this time, you can auto write. I, you know, I do that a lot. I used to do it in videos. Auto writing, you can journal, you can go for a walk and just make sure you're still in that open space. Whatever's cluttering you up and being a distraction, don't yell at the dis the distraction. Look at why it's affecting you so much and then take measures for self-care, okay? Fluorite learning. Yeah, you're learning you don't need to be afraid. That whole thing has been going on, right? And you're learning how to be abundant. You're learning how to accept this stuff for yourself, but also learning where you've been stubborn, where your ego has gotten in the way, okay? Like, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. If you're in a place, like, let's say you're really stuck in your career, Maybe a hard thing that you have to learn is that you're not immune to resentment. And maybe you're carrying a certain energy of anger or whatever. And then you're in the workplace and everyone's responding to your resentment. Even if you think you're hiding it, they're picking up on it. And so when they start responding to that, it's still not fair because your resentment's coming from, you know, a justified place. But not everybody's going to have your whole story. They're going to be responding to how you present. That was a hard lesson I had to learn. I was going through so much in the last job. I mean, the crazy stuff that happened in that job. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I had more than justified reasons to be upset, to be on edge, to be resentful. And I tried to put on a smiling face and just get through day to day, but everything would irritate me. It would irritate me. Uh, the second someone, well, the, I was an executive assistant. My biggest thing was everyone treating me like I was their assistant when I worked for an executive and I was supposed to be focused on that executive and not being able to do my work properly because everybody, like, everybody was suddenly incapable of making their own copies, suddenly incapable of doing anything for themselves. And I'm talking like people who are not at the level to have an assistant, thinking that the assistant of the executive is beneath them. Do you see what I'm getting at? <laughs> so like, it was very frustrating. All the while, emails are coming in. There are things to handle. You gotta answer the phone. Someone's interrupting you while you're on the phone because they're like, the, the Wi-Fi's out in here, fix it. Like, you know, <laughs> doing all of that. And when it came down to it, I started, I had to get real with myself. You know, like um, my my resentment is probably coming out and they don't have the whole story. They don't know why. But, you know, when I question, like, why haven't I made it further in this company? I'm, I'm in this energetic swirl over here and I wasn't taking measures to get myself out. I offer that as an example for you to do some examining here and see see what next steps you need to take. All right. Hope that was helpful. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care.